Knowing how to use the UBC Library and the range of services we offer effectively can be difficult even for students on campus who have instructors and librarians that they can consult in person. And it can be even more challenging for distant students who are studying remotely. So in this video, I'm going to introduce you to UBC Library's services for distance education students. By the end of the video, you should have a better understanding of the services available to you as a distance student and feel more confident using the UBC Library from wherever it is that you're studying. The UBC Library makes it possible for distance education students living anywhere in Canada to use all of our library's print and electronic resources through the library's distance services. Between your campus-wide login, your UBC card, and services like document delivery and interlibrary loan, you'll be able to access electronically or have delivered to you any materials from the UBC and non-UBC libraries that you need. Here are the three steps you need to take before you can start using distant services. Step one, read the UBC Library Distance Education Guide. Think of this guide as a hub for all of the information you'll need in order to get the most out of the library as a distant student. To find the guide, start on the UBC Library homepage and click Use the Library. From here, scroll down to Guides for Library Users and open the Distance Education Students Guide. A quick tip, you can also just search for the UBC Distance Education Guide in Google. If you're following along in your own web browser, be sure to bookmark this page, as you'll likely need to return to it in the future. This guide includes information about borrowing the library's print books and journals, accessing online materials, finding, evaluating, and citing sources for research, and finding library help. You'll want to explore each of these sections of the guide in depth in order to understand the full extent of services available to distant students. Step 2. Obtain your UBC card. Your UBC student card doubles as your library card, and before using any of the library's materials, you need to apply for your card online. If you live locally, after applying for your card, you can pick it up at UBC's carding office. If you do not live locally, your card's barcode and PIN number will be emailed to you and you can use these numbers to access all of the library's borrowing services. This includes accessing online materials like ebooks, journal articles, and databases from any off campus location. In order to access online resources, you'll simply start your searching from the UBC Library homepage. Then, log in using EasyProxy, an authentication system used to verify UBC users. All you need to do is sign in with either your campus wide login or your UBC card's barcode and PIN number, and you'll have full access to the material. Step 3. Register for Distance Services Registering is as simple as filling out an online form, the link for which is on the Distance Education Guide under Getting Started. Once you've registered for Distance Services, you'll be able to request library materials from both UBC and non-UBC libraries and have them delivered to you using document delivery or interlibrary loan. For more information about how both of these services work, check out our document delivery and interlibrary loan video. It's important that you register for distant services as early as possible, as you can't request any materials for delivery until this online form has been filled out and processed. At this point, you should be ready to get started with the UBC Library as a distance student. Before moving on to the next video, be sure to bookmark the Distance Education Library Guide, apply online for your library card, and register for delivery services. You can either consult the Distance Education Guide or get in touch with the Education Librarians for answers to any questions you still have about distance services.